Alright, what's going on guys? Today we're watching Is It Wrong to Pick Up a Girl in a Dungeon, Season 3, Episode 3. I've got nothing to say for the start of the episode, so without further ado, let's go into the episode right now. Well, she wasn't attacked. She was saved, so... Oh? Interesting. Oh. Okay, what does the guild know? What is the guild's mission we have right here? Interesting. Uh, so, in the last episode, what happened in the last episode? We had the uh, kind of sad episode, I guess, of Wiene, uh, like overhearing some stuff. She, Lily kind of should have worded better, I suppose. Uh, and it made it so she ran away and caused a ruckus, even though she was just doing what she thought was right, which was right. She's just, people are too ignorant or obnoxious and don't understand the difference between a monster and an actual monster. When in reality, like this guy, seems to be his family as well, seems to be actual monsters of this world. So, yeah, like someone said in my last video, like the adventurism. Uh, monsters in this world aren't very different. We also got to meet this uh, feathered harpy lady, which was, uh, here she is right here. Um, just a little introduce of her, you know, that was pretty interesting. Hopefully we get to meet her very soon, properly. Um, I'm looking really, really looking forward to seeing what happen, goes on in this episode and see where it goes from here. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Proceed to the 20th floor with the dragon girl. Huh. What do they mean, like, take her, just take her home? Just return her to where she came from? Is that why? Is that the mission? How does the guild know? God, the guild is secret, man. Possibly, yeah. Also true. Yeah, it's probably the old dudes. The elder looking dudes, maybe. Mm, controlling the guild somehow, possibly. There's a map. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the lowest they've been is like what, floor 18, floor 19? Hmm. Hell yeah, Jesus. Hmm. 
Where is Weenie now? Is she back in the mansion? Or is she at the... She's in the basement of their old house, aren't, isn't she? Somewhere? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she is here. Oh, oh, my heart. You're so cute. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Great. Great. Ask me. Satteto. Who is this? It's like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> yada yada Ah, so this is as far as they've been. Okay, we got a plan. We can do this. Wow. Hmm. 
No. Who is this? It's like, this person's like a skeleton, what the hell? Who is it? And why do the, some, of, some of the panels light up? Ooh. Oh, I see. Uranus. Uranus. Hell yeah, go wealth. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Good. The dragon girl. Do tell. Oh, I literally is. So cute. Oh, okay. What is the song? Um, you okay, Bill? Oh. Hello. Is this the dude? Is this the dude from the opening? 
He's he's intelligent. I mean, it has to be intelligent. He's using weapons like that. Oh God. Okay. How did she detect none of the monsters? Oh god. <laughs> Bell, this person seems pretty strong. Jesus. Why does he want Wiener? Eh? Hell yeah. Oh, Bell's doing it. <laughs> Let's go, Bell. Let's go, Bell. Woohoo! Divine punch, bitch. Hell yeah. I don't remember I don't remember um Bell's powers kind of or his abilities. So I think that's something I might have to reread upon just to get. Oh. <laughs> so it is the dude from the intro. Oh, Ted. Okay, we get to see her now. Nice. Uh, I knew it seemed like a test. It seemed like they were testing her. Uh, them. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Good. All right. There's nothing sneaky behind it then. Very cool. Lido. Lead or the lizard man. <laughs> Bellucci. Bell, you don't need to be scared, bro. It's cool. Bro, it's fine. Yeah. Don't be afraid to shake his hand. He's just like we know.
the hell? Come on, man. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but the monsters have never met an adventurer that they've like shook hands with. <laughs> Look at this bunny. No. <laughs> oh. What's her name? Do we know her name? Did she say her name before? No, I don't think she did. What's her name? Oh. True, very true, yeah. That's a good way to describe it. Xenos. Xenos. Ah, intelligent. You and that family are both in their hope and mine. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I like the sound of this idea. Oh, the episode ended in a way. Right, so. I kind of predicted that something like this would be happening from what we saw in the intro. With uh, Belle fighting alongside these guys. Um, But yeah, the Hestia family being kind of the bridge between monsters and adventurers. That'd be awesome. That'd be like a really series changing thing, I think. Um, I don't know how that would affect... Adventurers in terms of their job and what they do, and also the monsters in the dungeon that aren't as intelligent, um, that, you know, will just kill on sight any adventurers they see. But I suppose in the future, if this came into pass, the intelligent monsters could try and teach the non-intelligent monsters, I suppose, to understand the adventurers and stuff. I mean, it's kind of like, like a hero society, like in my hero, like... Is this beneficial for the world if no, none of the monsters ever want to, um, you know, do bad things, I suppose? Like, is it beneficial for all the adventurers to find different work? I don't know. It's an interesting thing to think about it's, uh, in quite a lot of stories, but also this one, I suppose. Um, but yeah, really interesting episode. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the next one. Yeah, I like that the um I like that Udenos, uh, I'm not really sure who that is yet. I don't know whether it's where I should look that up or not. I don't know. Again, I might just not. Just for you know, for the sake of like just know what the show has told me, kind of not look anything up myself. Um I like that Udenos, he seems to be on the side of, you know, making this come into fruition. The whole monsters and humans getting along kind of thing. Uh, it's an interesting concept, and usually the shadiness of these kind of characters that you see, usually from the beginning, you usually think that they are, they have a different objective in mind. But if it is just as plain and simple as this, then, oh, excuse me, uh, it'd be really interesting to see. Um, and I hope that's what it is at face value. And, you know, the only people that they have to deal with is the population that don't quite understand monsters yet which is everyone basically but hopefully the Hestia family will be the bridge for these characters so yeah anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I certainly did and hope you guys enjoyed my reaction thank you guys so much for watching have a nice rest of your day and peace out